America, and welcome to uh, Funbox V Blog uh, number two. Number two. Number two. Electric Boogaloo. Yes. Is Thanks. that joke still acceptable? Can we still no, do the electric? Terrible. Terrible. I can't wait till Blog number three, Tokyo Drift. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of pornography, I think we should talk a little bit about Sarah Palin. Um, <laughs> well, I don't think we're allowed to make that transition. I think we are. Again, she's for abstinence-only education. She's then, for so. abstinence, heavily, heavily pro-life. Heavily pro-life. Abstinence only education, and you know who else is? Uh, her 17 year old pregnant daughter. <laughs> so we were she didn't do good in that abstinence class. Yeah. Uh, well, you think that'd be a really short class. Like, don't do it! See you later, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys listen to all the uplifting speeches during the DNC? It was so uplifting. I, I missed it up during, like, oh. Bo Biden's introduction of his father. But then at the end of it, he. Bo he, Biden? Bo Biden. Biden Joe, Joe Biden's son. His Bo rhyming Biden. Bo Biden. Oh. His Bo other Biden. Sons, Bo Biden. He sounds like somebody used to hang out with Paul Bunyan. No. Bo Biden. <laughs> Bo Biden. Chop down 20 trees, just by thinking about it. Bo Biden. I don't know why I started rapping. <laughs> it's uh, the end of summer. End of summer. Summer. Bye. Bye, Bye summer. summer. But I, I, it's gonna be sad. I did not have the opportunity to go to one single amusement park this whole oh, summer. I went to one. What'd you go to? I went to Six Flags last week because for my job, I had to uh, take one of the owner's brothers to Six Flags. <laughs> it was like, hey, you wanna take somebody that you don't know to Six Flags? It'll be great. That does sound like fun. How was the brother? He was a cool dude, actually, how, how surprisingly. Old he was 24. And, um, <laughs> That's been like a 10 year old. Like, no, was, gotta keep an eye on the boss. You guys get kid. like matching splatter paint shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We actually got t shirts with pictures of each other on. Oh, no, he was uh, It was like Wild West. They both were holding guns. <laughs> no, it was great. He, uh, he had just. Uh, printed. <laughs> Matt, Matt is a firm believer of bringing strangers to theme parks. Yeah. He used to, he used to always That's tell me. That's a good first date. Best first date would be at a theme park. And why? Right. Be, well, you know, he's your guy. You can, when you're waiting in line, you can talk about. So if you can't figure out stuff to say for like 20 minutes waiting in line, then maybe it's not gonna work out. And like, there's a lot to do. It's like a public place. It's kind of safe, you know. And uh, you get to hear what each other sound like when you're screaming. So that's <laughs> yeah. uh, have you seen that? I think it's either Match.com or Chemistry.com. Correct me, internet, when you see this. Yes. Uh, those uh, the people sitting down to next to each other and just making promises. Mm. Like, I, I promise, promise uh, never to wear a tie to bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's just such a weird way. Like that's what the Proposing like you do on your date, like I to sit and make promises and oaths to each other. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all my dates are oaths. Yes. By the hand of Odin. So like the first dates would be like just blanket. Like I promise not to murder you and bury you in the basement. <laughs> I promise not to come out of the bathroom wearing a zipper face. <laughs> so uh, I don't. A large hat. Hadron Collider. Yes. Hadron Collider is coming along. It's very that. exciting. Uh, Give well, a little background. Okay, so. It's the largest particle accelerator ever built. It's going to be accelerating lead ions to 99.99% or wait, no, 99.9999, excuse me, percent the speed of light exactly. and then smash them into each other. These I things the size of a bigger one than you buy. Smash, <laughs> smash. Interesting, when I first learned the term uh, hadrons, uh, I had only read it in text and I was giving a little talk about them. And I gave a talk and I, I had read, I'd only read it, I'd never heard anybody say the word hadron, so I pronounced it hardons. And I gave an entire lecture about hard on, oh, and uh, no one, no one batted an eye. They just thought that that was a term, and and then the teacher who did know how it was pronounced just he he couldn't bring it, <laughs> couldn't bring himself to admit that he was just kind of like so. Um, tell tell us more about these hard ons. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> Do you know what's weird? I, I got a text on my phone the other day, and it was like, I, unknown number. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. It said picture included. And I'm like, hmm. Mm. And I opened up, balls. dick. Big picture of someone's dick and balls. Was that, <laughs> did you sign up for that Barack Obama text? <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst vice president ever. <laughs> is that what he names it? It's called little vice president. president. <laughs> well, I think that I think, think we've gabbed your ear off enough. enough. Oh, that's still good. That's no. <laughs> hey, hey, now. Send us a, a make a video response to us um, if you are or so don't. inclined. And if you uh, make a video, there's a good chance that you'll get your name mentioned mm -hmm. in this vlog. Vlog. <laughs> but I think we've gabbed your ear off. Enough. I think we've gabbed your ear off enough. Good night, America. Good night. Good night.